Like we have here a Goda conducting class and we have a paid choir here. So how you feel to work with them? This is wonderful. The students are really well uh, uh, prepared and they are really ready to uh, perform this uh, not easy uh, repertoire. Not easy, yes. I think uh, that um, it, uh, it is uh, in many ways new for them. They uh, obviously they perform the great classics of choral literature and I, I'm aware that they have experience in uh, contemporary uh, music but maybe this uh, musical style which is so deeply rooted in the Hungarian uh, tradition um, um, was unfamiliar to them. So can, can you a little characterize those difficulties that uh, you can occur when you do Bartok music, for instance. Is this the intonation or is this the pronunciation in Hungary? Because I was listening now there that uh, they have improved quite a much with, with, the, with the Hungarian speaking or singing. Yes. But, but how you feel about this? Well, I think there are multiple challenges. Uh, obviously the text and the sound of the Hungarian uh, music. Um, and it's not necessarily just the sound of folk music, but all the music that was created in the first uh, decades of the 20th century mm. that is rooted in that tradition. So even when Bartók or Kodály um, uh, writes music that is not directly uh, based on folk songs, we still hear the sound of Hungarian music. This is what Bartók referred to it, that the composer absorbs uh, the essence of this musical tradition and it, this uh, sound and this uh, language fertilizes uh, their music. And this is what we see in, uh, for example, uh, the Ligeti or the Bartók or the uh, Kodai works. Yes. When Kodai uh, refers to the importance of uh, art education and music education, he really saw that music is something that people should live together with. Music is something that people should be exposed to on a daily basis. Mm. And this is happening in some schools, in the what we call the singing primary and secondary schools, yes. but we don't see this happening nationwide. I think what uh, the Silvai brothers uh, did in uh, uh, Finland is a beautiful example um, how Kodai's uh, principle of music education um, that states that all instrumental uh, tuition should be preceded by singing. Mm, they okay. showed the way how this can be implemented into practice. Oh, very interesting, yes. Okay. Because the, in the core of the Kodai based music education is singing. Yes. So, um, uh, to see that method uh, implemented in practice in uh, in those schools, uh, East Hels in East Helsinki and in other places maybe. It's wonderful for uh, Hungarians to see that yes. it works outside Hungary. Yes.